Why, hello there everyone. I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. Minasan, konnichiwa, ohayo gozaimasu. And yes, I am tired today, but today I got a great video for you guys. A tarantula feeding video. And this time we'd return again to the Harpactera pulchropes, also known as the golden blue leg baboon tarantula. So this species is actually one of my favorite old world tarantulas that there is. Now when it comes to old world tarantulas, I think this species is one of the best eaters you can get. So every single one of these that I have, all of them will eat. The only time they don't eat is during pre-molts. But other than that, they all do really well and they all eat very good. Now if you're wondering how many of these do I have, currently I have about, I believe 36 of these guys. But soon, a lot of these, or half of these, will be sold away through wholesale because these guys are growing pretty fast. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't have enough space. So, these guys gotta go. So half of these guys will be finding new homes pretty soon. So maybe somewhere in the future, you might actually get one of these. Who knows, right? Uh, I'm, I'm very tired today too, guys. I'm really sleepy, so... Uh, Sorry if this commentary is pretty bland, but uh, just don't mind it and everything will work out. <laughs> uh, what a nice feeding this is. But I do have a question for you guys. And this is kind of a debate, but here's the question of the day. Which one of these species is better? This species here, the Harpacteria pulchropes, or the infamous OBT, the orange baboon tarantula? Please, tell me down below which one do you prefer? I honestly prefer these guys, the Harpacteria pulchropes, over the OBTs because, I'm going to be honest, the OBTs are a pain to feed. They're <laughs> the only thing they do is literally threat posture, and they just go all out on me. And it's kind of <laughs> actually it's kind of funny sometimes. But uh, yeah, I actually prefer these guys though. Now don't get it twisted. I still love OBTs, and I do love their localities and their color forms. But I actually still prefer these guys. Just because they're easier to deal with and they grow pretty well and they eat very well as well. But uh, back on topic though, I did say that I was going to do an update video on what was going on in my collection. But then I changed my mind because uh, I'm not going to lie, update videos are kind of boring. But, but, hear me out. They're a necessity though, because I don't want to not tell you what's happening in my collection because I feel like that's a bit disingenuous. So I will do a update collection video on my tarantulas and whatnot, but uh, honestly, I just need time <laughs> because I can't figure out what I want to get rid of and what I'm going to keep. Because as a breeder, I want to keep everything, but I know I can't. So as, as I said, some of these guys I'm going to sell away and also some of my Peace Lotharia Triada that I rehoused in my previous videos, some of them are also going to be sold off, some of my females that is. And the reason why is because I already have I think 6 to 7 adult females and I believe 3 of them are gravid so I don't really need more females. So maybe 8 of these juvenile females that I rehoused in that video will be sold off and the other 4 I may just keep for future breeders but we, we we kind of had to wait and see right guys i don't want to i don't want to count my chickens before my eggs <laughs> is that how the saying goes i think it goes something along those lines but either way though guys i really do hope you enjoy this video and the feedings because to me this was this one actually took quite some time to record because since i have so many tarantulas to feed honestly this was a pretty long recording so I would appreciate if you guys can support this channel. If you like this content, then leave a like because that will actually help out this channel and help me out quite a bit as well. And I hope every single viewer that watches this can actually uh, vibe with my low energy, I guess, per se, when I make these videos. Because I, this is my approach to making Tarantula YouTube videos. I like it to be a bit more laid back and more relaxing to the viewer. Because to me, I think tarantula videos are way too, uh, how should I say this? It's too energetic, and I actually like a much more relaxing and professional approach to tarantulas. So I hope you guys enjoy this type of content, and the style and aesthetic that I, you know, take with tarantulas. 
So the reason why I approach tarantulas with a low vibe is because I've been doing this for so long that at this point, like nothing really surprises me. So I don't really get this amazing shock factor like I used to. Because to me, this is nothing more than just waking up, brushing your teeth, and eating breakfast. It's just a, it's basically a daily routine. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, um, how should I say it? It's normal for me, I guess. Everyone, I think the best approach to tarantulas on YouTube is to stay calm and try not to make a big scene out of things. And that's just the way I am, I guess. Because I think it's more professional, I guess. Well, I don't know if professional is the right word. It's more... Hmm. Genuine, I guess. That's the right word. Genuine. Yep. What you're seeing is a genuine reaction. I don't really get too excited. Now, I still love spiders and I still love tarantulas, but I don't really get the beginner's chills when I do tarantula stuff now. For me, I just look at it and if it happens, I smile. Whether I get bit by a tarantula or if something bad happens, the only thing you can do as a professional or as somebody who is skilled at your craft is to stay calm and just slowly work out the problem. So I find it kind of strange how some of the biggest tarantula YouTubers have some of the least professional approach to tarantulas. Now I'm not saying this is everyone, but there is quite a few tarantula YouTubers out there, in my opinion, that have really um, questionable skills. <laughs> now some people do say I'm underrated, but uh, hey, this is a small channel, so I really couldn't care less, I guess. I mean, as long as somebody sees my content, I really hope that they can actually get something out of it. Now, I'm not going to teach every single thing on every single video because some videos I will give you some educated things and others I'm just going to sit back and relax and just enjoy the process and show you guys while vibing to my low energy. And like I said previously, I've been doing this for so long now, I guess uh, I don't really freak out like most people on YouTube when a tarantula goes crazy. I just kind of look at it and laugh and just stay calm. And I guess this is what you call a professional, I guess? I really don't know. All I know is I love what I do and I do what I love. And that's really the approach and the passion that I need. Nothing really much other than that. But everyone, if you ever do get a tarantula, and it goes wild or something crazy happens, the first thing to do is to take a deep breath and do not freak out. Because freaking out will show inexperience and you don't want that, trust me. Now, if you're a newbie, then maybe there's an exception, but most people should just stay calm. Now, the thing about me is that I've experienced so much tarantula stuff, I have pretty much seen it all at this point. So I don't really know what to expect for anything new other than what I know. But that's the thing though. I only know what I know. That's why I need to learn more. Despite my experience and my knowledge, there's always room to grow. So please tag along on this journey and let's see what I can learn as an experienced tarantula breeder and an experienced tarantula keeper. So if you want to support the channel and you like my low energy and the vibes I give off, please feel free to subscribe, like, and comment down below and also feel free to check out my social media links such as my instagram my twitter if you want to know what i'm up to and i upload on fridays or at least i try to so uh yeah i'm trying but uh I'll, i think i'll get it down and with that stay lax and laxo out from the kumo sensei